All right, what's up guys back for another video although today is a gear review so it's not doing a tutorial it's a gear review so we got a new product coming in for the for you guys to to show off to you guys if you want it and it's actually really freaking cool we're reviewing this guy right here now for those of you guys don't know what a capture card is this is a capture card now what's so special about it well let me get right to that but first let me just tell you guys this thing will capture uh, 1080p at 60 fps and it does all the normal bells and whistles as uh, good latency, good all, everything. But where it shines is that it's actually uh, a capture card with four inputs. I'm talking four different HDMI sources you can plug into this all at the exact same time. It's like having four capture cards in one. Now, why is this beneficial? Well, consider being a broadcaster that maybe likes to play all their consoles, have cameras all over the place. Who knows, man? You name it, anything with an HDMI cable is a source consider having a, a game pc maybe a camera maybe a vcr if you have one of those still from back in the day maybe an old school console maybe a camera or a or i don't know whatever you got on hand that has an hdmi output and you can go ahead and plug it on into this and it literally it's so simple so to get this thing all hooked up it's quite simple man all you gotta do is pull off the side of your pc now you gotta keep in mind that if you already have a capture card plugged into your your pc's motherboard you're gonna need to go ahead and dial in a setting in here uh to get it to work now it's literally just a switch on the actual device itself so you just flick a little switch and you're good to go it's just you got to do it if you have multiple capture cards now i have a multiple capture cards i already have one in my pc that captures this camera and i just needed to go ahead and flick a switch and then it works and now we're good to go just keep that in mind that if you do want to plug this in with another capture card you got to flick a little switch on here once you actually have it installed you go ahead and close up that pc boot up the old windows and uh, you just gotta go to their website, download one driver, you install it, it's really simple and fast. Once it's installed, you're good to go. You just open up OBS and you select the sources that you want for each individual input that's on this device. Now, it's super easy, man. Let me just go ahead and show you exactly what you're gonna get here. And I'm gonna walk you through it. When you first get this, it will come in a box just like this. All you gotta do is pull off the little sleeve. On the inside, you are gonna have some nice foam padding and whatnot that you pull apart and uh, your capture card will be sitting at the bottom there and I already took mine out of here. Inside you will get a little customer satisfactory report card thing that you can contact them and you know give them your feedback and then you also get a little manual which will tell you exactly how to set up and uh, install your capture card and it'll kind of cover how to uh, make sure to flick the right switches to make sure if you have another capture card in your PC that this one will work on top of it. Now that's the biggest thing I, I need to tell you guys that if you want to use this with another capture card that's already in your PC, you gotta hit the little switchy switchy. And if you have two already, you gotta hit another little switchy switchy. So there's four switches on here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jump right on over to my desktop. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up, how to install it, how to get everything uh, situated and uh, where to download the, uh, the files that you might need. So all you gotta do is open up a browser, go to their website. Now in their website, they'll have a little download section. You download the quad HDMI PCIe video capture card thing. You download that. Once you get it downloaded, you get a little zip file. And when you go, all you gotta do is just take that zip file and extract it to the same place. And then you open that up. And then you just gotta make sure to click on the x64.exe. It's really simple. Once you uh, hit that up, you hit the okay button. Uh, and once you do that, you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. You just close out of all the, uh, the excess baggage here you got in terms of folders and delete those things because I don't think you're gonna need them anymore and just open up OBS and start capturing any kind of uh, HDMI device you want. Now to test this thing, I actually got all my consoles together. I got the uh, the, the Nintendo Switch, I got my PS4 Pro, I got my Xbox uh, One X console, and we're gonna take all those and inject them into the capture card as well as this camera right here. So we're gonna have four sources all simultaneously playing into the capture card. We're gonna hear the audio. Everything's gonna be working flawlessly, hopefully, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up and what it looks like, and maybe some ideas I can give you towards the end of this video on what you can do with this. To start things off, nice and simple, man. Now that the card is plugged in, I can literally come over here and hit add, go to video capture device, call it whatever I want, hit okay. If I actually drop down this little window of the devices, you can see HD video five, video six, seven, and eight. Now that's because I flicked the switch and normally I think it would say one, two, three, four, but right now it says five, six, seven, eight because I flicked the switch, which now is my second capture card. So Technically, you could probably plug in multiple of these capture cards together and just have like a ton of switches. It doesn't matter. Now, when you click on it, it's going to go ahead and show you some uh, colored bars. And that's what it's going to look like. Now, if you're uh, doing the old 1920 by 1080 
capture, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, what I ended up doing is I went over to my settings, I went to the video tab, and I actually set this to 4K. That's 3840 by 2160. Know that we're in 4K right now. So I'm gonna leave it at 60 FPS at 4K, record at 4K, you know, 36 samples, I'm gonna hit OK. This is actually gonna default to 1920 by 1080. So that's why it's this, you know, one quarter. It's a quarter of 4K. It's basically 1K. If you want to call it that 1K, 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 right? You're going to have four different captures here. So now that you can see this, I actually made one with four different captures already going. Now you can see that all these things are all already capturing. We got HD video eight, seven, six, and five. And that's all these different video sources right here. And I could uncheck this and, and, you know, move these around if I chose to, but I'm just going to go ahead and lock them off and leave them there. Now, all we gotta do is plug in our devices, and why don't we just start with my camera? So, eh, you can see my uh, my camera's already working. It's great, it's already doing its thing. And if I go back to my other scene collection, you can see that my camera's already there, it's working uh, as intended. I, you know, just scale it up to the full 4K. And you can see the delay is literally almost the same as my other caps card in my streaming PC. Now, we already have our first thing being captured. Here's one thing that maybe you uh, don't realize that all your audio sources are gonna play. So if you have all these connected, all your audio is gonna be playing. Now, right now, you're not really hearing me because I turned down the volume, but if I were to turn this up, you would start to hear a little bit of an echo of me and maybe that's not what you want. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and mute this one because it's my, uh, my camera. I don't wanna hear the audio for that, but I do wanna hear the audio of my consoles that I'm about to plug in. So let's go ahead and just plug in some consoles, shall we? Let's just start with the Switch, because why not? All right, so I literally just docked my Switch and just like that, it's already working. I got my, my Pro Nintendo Switch controller in my hand, which now that the audio is turned on, you can actually hear everything that's happening. Now, one thing I can try to do here to kind of show you guys what's going on, let me go ahead and hide my, uh, my camera here. And let me just go full screen with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on my preview monitor and we're just gonna click full screen preview and we're gonna click to our uh, monitor here and boom, just like that. Now we are full screen previewing our image. So kind of cool, man. Um, so we got Breath of the Wild down your bottom right. And again, if I uh, move my uh, my joystick around, you can see that this is working. So now while this thing loads up, let's just go ahead and plug in our, uh, our Xbox, shall we? So now we actually have our, our Xbox in the bottom left. We still have our... Uh, our our switch on our bottom right you know what let's just uh, go ahead and load up some uh some red dead redemption and you can see that the uh the old sound is actually playing through right now so we're gonna start to hear a little bit of everything we gotta wait for the old load thing you know what i'm saying i mean i guess while we're loading i might as well plug in the ps4 let's just plug in the ps4 look at that the ps4 is up and up and running man i got uh i got uncharted drake's fortune red dead still going huh Still, still loading down there, huh? Oh, there we go. Now we got the Red Dead. And over here, we got ourselves Drake's Fortune from Uncharted and Naughty Dog. I said that completely backwards. Who cares though, right? And you can see just like that, we are inside of uh, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. We got the, uh, we got the, we got all, we got all these things working right here. Look, if I just push all my joysticks, the, okay, I can't really do the, top one there you go see there every day now now we're going now we're cooking with gas here you know what i'm saying punch him again punch him again there you go see just like that man you know now keep this in mind that you know red dead is in 30 fps it might be in 4k but it's getting downscaled to 1080p at uh 30 fps bop bop dead just like that oh yeah get out of here you can see just like that all these are working totally fine how else could you maybe utilize this you could also add a separate scene so if i actually go back to my uh my default here, I can only I can always add another scene over here, maybe add uh, scene two. We'll actually add our video capture, call this video capture two. We'll select maybe the number eight here, hit OK, and we'll just scale this up because again, we're, we're in 4K, but that's the canvas size, so I had to scale it up there. So you can see we have all of our different uh, scenes here and I can just cycle through them if I chose, you know, if I want to, and uh, pretty cool, man. And I can also do them all simultaneously on the same scene if I choose to. So maybe this could be something that might work for you if you wanted to have multiple games on the on the same screens. So lastly, I just want to double click on this and at the very bottom, just to make sure you get sound with these devices. At the very bottom, you want to click custom audio device. And once you do that, you need to select the actual source that is your device. It's going to default to some random audio. You just want to make sure to click the right audio. I know that Uncharted is my uh, my number six here, my HD Audio 6, because that's the one I plugged into. So if I click on HD Audio 6, hit OK. Now if I uh, go back into the game, you can see the levels are moving and we're good to go. And uh, you know what? Trying to play this out right now feels pretty, pretty good, man. You know, I can, everything feels really, 
like instant i don't feel like anything's really delayed or anything like that so it feels really nice everything i'm doing is just uh it feels good you know i don't feel like any kind of delay or anything like that now granted i am playing on a controller so it's not you know it's not like i'm on a keyboard and mouse like i normally am but at least you can kind of see that you know the game feels like it's running and the the latency i hardly feel any sort of latency so just like that nice and simple man you plug this guy in you plug in your consoles or whatever you want to plug in and it just works man and that's the best part is everything's just good to go you don't have to worry about anything normally you'll find this guy for 246 dollars on the internet now i know that seems pretty hefty but consider that you have four capture cards in one you know you get a 1080p 60 fps capture card with a good color format at and it costs you around you know 70 to 100 dollars you're looking at spending way more than this guy if you're trying to get multiple capture cards to all plug into your pc as opposed to just getting the one with four inputs so when it comes down to uses you got to think more than just uh the typical gamer might think maybe you were a uh, a news studio and you have four different cameras all on your uh, your talent talking about the news Maybe uh, you have a security system in your apartment or your house that you want to uh, constantly record to OBS with and you just want four different angles. So you can put them all inside of OBS and keep it nice and simple. Maybe you're on set and you have four different wireless connections coming from all different kinds of cameras and you want to be able to monitor it all for your director all on one screen wirelessly or wired. Shout out to this company for sending me this beautiful, beautiful piece of tech right here. And I would highly recommend this. It's really uh, nice to have four inputs and not need multiple capture cards. Uh, to get all my sources put into my stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Keep it nice and simple, man. It's a caps card, four inputs, so simple. I wish you luck on your endeavor of uh, getting yourself out there. Happy streaming, stay safe. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, later.